Well, every 66 seconds, someone in the U.S. develops Alzheimer's disease, and two-thirds are women. UC Irvine's Institute for Memory Impairments and Neurological Diseases, or UCI Mind, is launching a new effort to find a cure. And here to tell us all about it and how you can help, co-director Dr. Josh Grill and John Elizabeth, whose mother has Alzheimer's. Thank you both so much for joining us. Dr. Grill, I'm going to talk with you. First, Alzheimer's disease it affects more women than men. Do we know why? Well, the driving force behind that uh, greater risk for women is that you're much better at living to the ages when Alzheimer's disease risk rises exponentially. Oh. Uh, men die at younger ages by and large, and so women are better at living to those ages when risk goes up, and it doubles for every five years we live after age 65. So it is definitely true that about two out of every three cases of Alzheimer's disease is women but also they're more likely to be caregivers and they're just disproportionately affected by this disease. Oh, it's so sad. John, you're joining us. Your mother has Alzheimer's. How, how is your mother doing now? First of all, we should talk about it. And how has UCI Mind helped? <coughs> Uh, yeah, my mom's doing great right now, actually. Her attitude is uh, partially why I think she's doing so good. And that's largely attributed to my father and uh, what an awesome caregiver he is. So he's, um, he's really stepped up is what he's done. And, and ultimately, that's why she's doing so well. So I've had seven years to digest this. And ultimately, when I sit back and look at it now, I'm just more proud of my folks and what they've done to help Dr. Grill and others uh, advance. Is Not only through raising money, but through uh, participating in research. So, yeah, let's actually let's talk about the research really quickly. You're talking about C2C, the campaign. What do you hope it's going to accomplish? Well, it's a really exciting time in our field. Um, we're trying things we've never tried before. We're taking new aggressive approaches. We're testing new therapies for people who have Alzheimer's disease, as well as potential preventative therapies. And in all cases, the the biggest deterrent to making progress is to get help from families like John's and others to enroll in studies and, and really support what we're doing. So C2C is a new, uh, very confidential, safe, um, but extremely important uh, opportunity for people who want to consider being enrolled in studies to learn about studies that might be right for them. And they can enroll by getting online at, at c2c.uci.edu, telling us about themselves, and then potentially being matched to a study that's right for them. Wow, I'm, I'm sure a lot of caregivers will will be listening closely and uh, contacting. But you don't actually have to say yes. I mean, this is this is something that every family who is dealing with a loved one with Alzheimer's they can en enroll in this. That's absolutely right. You don't have to say yes. It's always voluntary, as all research is, and it's really just a way to keep yourself in the know and. You know, we need caregivers, we need adult children of people with this disease, we need young people. Um, right now we're doing studies of people in their 50s and 60s to see if we can stave off Alzheimer's disease from ever beginning, um, and it's a really exciting time. It's exciting for all of us hearing what you're doing and your advancements because it is such a debilitating disease, and thank you so much. We wish your mother the best. Thank you. Uh, and again, your father, he really, really is the warrior awesome. in, your, in your family right now. Aww. And the time commitment is out. very little. Yeah. In the grand scheme of life, the time commitment is very little, but the benefits to Dr. Grill and others is very, very high. Absolutely. Well, John, thank you, Dr. Thank Grill. You. Thank you so much Thanks for joining us. us. And again, if you would like to sign up for the UCI Consent to con con Contract Registry or just find out about more of it, check out their website you just heard Dr. Grill talk about, c2c.uci.edu.